National Monument. The Willette Visitor Center, part of Fort Stanwix, very fascinating inside. If it's a rainy day, that's the place to go. Storm clouds are going uh, northbound, but they're very slowly creeping to the east. And southward, there is actually more rain that's going to move right into New York State. But right now, right here at the Rome, New York Fire Department. We're going in. The city of Rome should let the Rome Fire Department use one of these boarded up houses as a training simulator. You know, set it on fire, make a big day of it, have uh, spectators all over. I mean, it'd be a good training. I mean, Rome has so many of these boarded up houses. Might as well put them to good use. And behind the firehouse, where there's ample car parking. And usually every now and then, there, I think there's a small, very rough trail on the other side. And yeah, usually people are living in there. See their lights at night or a campfire. When the river is low, you do see a lot of tires. <laughs> Hard tires, that is. YMCA. And a lot of ducks. This is the location area it's going to be in. And uh, not too happy about it, but yeah. Empty land means a loss of money, so got to do something with it. But uh, I really have not seen much being done to put in the new YMCA building. Uh, actually, I've seen nothing. I mean, they keep on saying future location. I just don't see it. <sighs> and you can pause it later to read it. The county fair. Uh, images, Rome Historical Society. Special thanks to Chip Twelman Haley of the Daily Set. <laughs> Look at those cars. Cool. But uh, I've seen about as much progress on. The YMCA building here, as I have heard about the Humane Society building a new location in the city. I mean, it hasn't happened. I mean, what did they do with all the money? This is Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. Another sign. So you can never get lost on the river trail. Wow, look at that cloud. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. This is why I run into trees a lot. Because I'm constantly looking up.
I do like the trees in the MV parking lot. Some of them got damaged from the latest windstorm, but uh, most of them survive. It's all about how deeply rooted they are. And sometimes in the evening, if you go through here, you can spot a raccoon or two. And if you're lucky like I am, you come across porcupine. I love porcupines. They're so cool. There's one that usually pays me a visit on uh, the Griffith Sculpture Trail. Now, comes around the water tower, does his uh, little obsessive compulsive hiking every night. And He's just not afraid of me. He just, he'll come within about, usually, yeah, he'll come within about five feet of me before he decides to turn around. Porcupines have very poor eyesight. So it's all about feeling what's in the air and smelling what's in the air. Got softball game. Or softball practice. Always get a nice view from here. <laughs> this is the lookout area. Not much in the summer, but in the autumn, it's pretty cool. Rough, rough. Hmm. Yep, got a game. Okay. Hmm. What's up, Paul King? One of these days I'll s just sit around and record one, but other than that, not really interested. It's Friday, so everybody's got games going on. And this comes out on Chestnut Street, if I ever freaking get there. This is the uh, County of Oneida Cemetery, the County Home Hospital, and they keep it very nice. Again, I like the trees. <laughs> Clouds are pretty cool today. And the B-52 there. I hope that's an airplane and not a really loud truck. Look at those rain clouds. Now the speed limit along here says 35 miles an hour. Help me with that. because nobody does 35 miles an hour. They don't even do 40 miles. <sighs> and you can pause it later to read it. Oh, the county fair. Uh, Images, Rome Historical Society. Special thanks to Chip Twelman Haley of the Daily Set. <laughs> Look at those cars. Cool. But uh, I've seen about as much progress on the YMCA building here as I have heard about the Humane Society building a new location in the city. I mean, it hasn't happened. I mean, what did they do with all the money? This is Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. Floyd Ave. 
another sign. So you can never get lost on the river trail. Wow, look at that cloud. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. This is why I run into trees a lot. Because I'm constantly looking up. I do like the trees in the MV parking lot. Some of them got damaged from the latest windstorm, but uh, most of them survive. It's all about how deeply rooted they are. And sometimes in the evening, if you go through here, you can spot a raccoon or two. And if you're lucky like I am, you come across porcupine. I love porcupines. They're so cool. There's one that usually pays me a visit on uh, the Griffith Sculpture Trail. Yeah. Comes around the water tower, does his uh, little obsessive compulsive hiking every night and he's just not afraid of me he just he'll come within about usually yeah he'll come within about five feet of me before he decides to turn around porcupines have very poor eyesight so it's all about feeling what's in the air and smelling what's in the air got a ball game or softball practice. Always get a nice view from here. <laughs> this is the lookout area. Not much in the summer, but in the autumn it's pretty cool. Rough, rough. Yep, got a game. Doggy. What's up, Paul game? One of these days I'll just sit around and record one, but other than that, not really interested. It's Friday, so everybody's got games going on. And this comes out on Chestnut Street. If I ever freaking get there. Huh. This is the uh, County of Oneida Cemetery. The County Home Hospital. And they keep it very nice. Again, I like the trees. Huh. This is, sorry, bad breaks. This is where supposedly one location of the Rome Humane Society was gonna be. Yeah, nothing done. Then they said, oh, we're gonna move up to Erie Boulevard, nothing done. My question to the city is, what did they do with all the money that they raised to move their location from Lamphere Road into Rome, New York? I think somebody embezzled it. I mean, seriously, all the people that donated money to that, they should look into it. This is Griffiths. Oh boy, we got the flags at half staff again. This is another complaint. The state, like every liberal state, lowers the flag so much, half staff, and for so long, nobody cares anymore. It used to be for really special, solemn occasions, and people always cared. 
They were always patriotic about it, always respectful about it. Now when you lower the flags half staff so much every month, and it is every month, I mean almost every week, nobody cares. <laughs> they don't even wonder why it is at half staff. Right now I'm wondering why it's a 